here's another person who has changed and another person who hasn't. Here is Mehdi Hassan ripping into Matt Taibbi, one of the people that Chris Hedges mentioned in this, uh, uh, in this episode, defending him, as we saw earlier. Um, I have to pee really fucking bad, so I'm going to go do that. I'm also going to serve the top of the hour ad break here. It's three minutes long, which is the exact same length of this video. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. Sorry, sucks to suck. The three-minute ad break is upon us. You talk a lot about the election integrity project in the Twitter files, which Stanford and the University of Washington founded to monitor attacks on our elections. Um, and you say some stuff about them that a lot of your critics say is not true, and that affects your credibility. You said the EIP was founded in response to the government dropping its proposal for a disinformation government. Well, there you are. We're quoting you on screen. It wasn't. It was formed two years earlier. Uh, you suggest it was government funded, even though during the 20 election, 2020 election that you're covering, it wasn't. Uh, you say they labeled 22 million tweets as misinformation in the run up to the 2020 vote. They didn't. Uh, they got they flagged 3000 election misinformation tweets for labeling. So you were only 21 million nine hundred ninety seven thousand off. And you also um, claim the EIP was let me finish the question. You can come back in. You also claim the EIP was partnered with the government cybersecurity and infrastructure agency, CISA, to censor Twitter. But you mix up CISA. CISA, a Homeland Security Agency, with the Center for Internet Security, the CIS, which is a nonprofit. In fact, you added an A to CIS. I think people can see it there uh, in brackets uh, to make that false claim. It's just error after error, Matt, on just this one That's topic. But the other, but the other ones aren't. The, the, no, no, the, 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 the twenty-two million, million number came from their own report. Yeah, where did the, it, it came from? A report in March twenty. Do you know what the 22 million number is, Matt? Can you tell me? Because we checked. 22 million is the number of tweets about election misinformation that were just that they just mapped. How many tweets were they? The ones they actually flagged to Twitter before the election. 22 million came after the election. It wasn't in the run-up. They flagged 3,000. So you were off by 21 million 997,000. They, 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 they said a lot of things. I I, I I stand by my story. You stand by what story? You stand by 20. Five million dollar house. Hassan doesn't love luxury, huh? No, I do. Wait, what? How do we get here? Brother, you're shadow boxing. I do like luxury. I, 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 I think everyone should be able to have access to luxury. Are you a mobile chatter? Who's also happening? First of all, a $5 million house. Fucking Christ. I love the, the house. The housing market in LA is fucked. But it's not that fucked. You know what I mean? You're off by like more. You're off by almost like 2.5 million. Yes, the house is actually 7.5 million. Twenty-two million were flagged in the run up to the election, even though that number came in March 2021, which was after the election. No, that's this came in their report after the election which was about some, to some total of tweets that they counted on the election. What they flagged to Twitter was 2,980 tweets, mm -hmm. I believe. So that's nowhere that's near 22 say, million. Come on, Who really? yeah, that's, come that's on what? You've got something wrong. You've got CISA that. wrong. Why that's did you add A? Okay, Matt, why did you add A in square brackets? Do you understand why people worry about... I actually thought that. And why I didn't you fix it? I, I just at. checked the tweet before I came on air. It's been three weeks since it was flagged to you. Why not fix it? Do you not have editors I at the racket? I, haven't, I didn't realize that until now. Okay, and what about the date? You got the date wrong when it was found. You said it was founded in response to the disinformation board. That was last year. Well, because Stamos is saying in the, in the video that uh, you know we were sort of created to fill the gaps. Uh, no, no, that's not, that's not what you say in the tweet. That's not what you say in the tweet. You say SIO was created in 2018. No, no, no. You say, this is what you say, that it would, the EIP was created after the public uproar paused the disinformation board. That's wrong. You need to correct that as well, don't you? After the, uh, that's what no. your words. You take to quote you. After public uproar paused the Orwellian disinformation governance board, Stanford created the EIP. That's wrong. Well, uh, that's what they say. I, I, I. Uh, my, well, you my could check. You could check. You don't need sources, Matt. You could check the EIP website. It says it was created in 2020. Well, that's the date that I just said. And the, the disinformation board was 2022. Okay. All right. Well, then that is an error.
Yeah, X is going to get mad at you for watching a murder on live stream. Yeah, it's true. Um, it's just error after error, Matt. Well, that is an error. Watch me confront Matt Taby with multiple unacknowledged and glaring mistakes in his Twitter files reporting. The Election Integrity Project in the Twitter files, which Stanford and the University of Washington founded to monitor attacks on our elections. Um, and... You say some stuff about them that a lot of your critics say is not true, and that affects your credibility. You said the EIP was founded in response to the election that you're covering. It wasn't. You flagged 3,000 election missing. Uh, you say they labeled... Oh, wait. This is the same uh, video. My bad. The election integrity... Me, they flagged 3,000 tweets. Okay, wait. Where the fuck is the rest of it? Uh, are you going to react to the GDN video? Yes, I will. I will react to it.